You like uh, what? You like Peaky Blinders? Peaky fucking blinders. Yeah. Have you seen all all six seasons? No. Yeah, me neither. But I like Peaky Blinders. I stopped after. Um, crap. Tom. His mom. Mm. She passed away. Gotcha. Beautiful actress. When she when she when she passed away, Andron and I couldn't watch for a while because we really really like her. We're, I could go back in now. I'm only bringing it up because hot off the presses, there will be a Peaky Blinders movie. Is Tom in it? Killian Murphy signed. He is on. I'm glad stuff is finally going right for him. I know, really. After, I mean, it's just, he's finally a working actor. You know? Finally a working actor. At least he's finally getting the recognition. That's that the thing. It's, 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 it's time he's getting the global recognition that we here have known about for, what, Paul ben 20 plus years? Paul Bentney needs a similar recognition. Yeah, absolutely. For absolutely, he does. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. I'm Rick. I'm Corbin. Why'd you say it before me? Fucking weirdo. Who cares? <laughs> you can't put a word. Jesus, got Just to throw you off. Yeah. Yeah. Today we got a video. This is a uh, Titan Refuse production. Seen many of their mm. videos. This is mm -hmm. 10 Indian celebrities who openly hated working with actors. Wow. Famous ones here in Hollywood. We actually talked about it in a video. Tom Hardy and. Uh, yeah, what, what's her face in, Charlize uh, Theron. She more, hated him. It was more she hated. Uh, <laughs> she he was. She's apparently difficult to work with. <laughs> well, yeah, but he's also notoriously. Yeah. He just he was not. He has actually apologized and said he was immature, and she was right for the majority of her gripes. Nah. Like call time seven, he shows up at nine thirty. Mm. Yeah. I'd let Tom Hardy show up. I on would me not. Anytime. No, I don't care who you are. You show yeah. up to set on time. You show up uh, to any time you like for me, buddy. No, uh, especially in my bedroom. Anyways, uh, anyway, obviously there's been countless in every industry of just be. It's you yeah. Know, if you if you're in a workspace, there's people you don't like, and unfortunately, sometimes it's your leading actor. Yeah, actors. and and even if you like them, sometimes there's days you're not going to like each other. Yeah, stuff's going to happen. Yep. You're human beings. Anyways. But this will be fun. Here we go. Whenever I read about the dynamic between co-actors on set and the grapevine of the supposed animosity or problems that existed on set, it makes me think about the nightmare it must have been in order to complete the shooting of the film. I remember seeing the disturbing documentary on the making of The Shining and just the inhumane yeah, nature with Shelley which Duvall. Stanley Kubrick treated the lead oh. actress Shelley Duvall almost as a means to channelize the same trauma in her performance. There are innumerable anecdotes about the various spats and disagreements that would arise on Francis Ford Coppola Apocalypse sets, now. especially those of Apocalypse Now mm -hmm. and Bram Stoker's Dracula. Nothing is yeah. more ludicrous than the anecdote where Ben Affleck and David Fincher set. fought with one another on the creative choice of Ben's character in Gone Girl wearing a rival team's baseball cap which presumably <laughs> halted shooting for four days. Various personalities coming in conflict with one another is inevitable on film sets, as one is bound to disagree with one another on creative decisions. Through this video, I wanted to reference several actors who came in conflict with either actors or directors on Hindi film sets, in turn leading to several complications oh, in yeah. completing the film. So here is Trident Refuse Productions with 10 public, Indian though. celebrities who openly hated working with actors. Sanjay Leela Bansali Many people consider Sanjay Leela Bansali's best work to be his debut film, Khamoshi, for it is a screenplay that never yeah, gets dis distracting with the opulence that Bansali films were synonymous with years later. I don't later. find the opulence a distracting. A tale about interpersonal relationships <laughs> that often goes unnoticed. Bansali, however, did not have a cordial time on set shooting with Nana Patikar, reflecting on the experience, stating that he doesn't really have fond memories of the same. I did not enjoy the experience of... Uh, Working with Nana Patek, mm. to be very obvious, to, to, to say it, it was a it was a film that put that the whole process of acting with a person. I, I didn't enjoy the film. When I hear Ooh. Dimple Kapadia during the promotions of her movie Tum Milo to Sahi also lot. describing no. Nana Patekar as a co-actor, I often wonder about the known personality, making me hope and wish I could just be a fly in the wall on a film set to see what he is exactly like when the cameras are not rolling. Mm -hmm. I think he's obnoxious. In a good way? 
राजेश खन्ना In the foreword for the Dark Star, the loneliness of being Rajesh Khanna, Tagore wrote, "I went to the studios at 8 a.m. and wanted to be back with my family by 8 p.m. But this was impossible since Kaka never arrived before 12 for a 9 a.m. shift, and we could never finish on time." It's a good way to get people to not like you. She further not wrote, "Probably even Kaka really like Khan. was not such a good idea to have so many films with one actress. One runs the risk of becoming stale." Whatever it was, we found ourselves working together in less and less films, and I must confess, it was a huge relief. <laughs> Vipasha Basu. The dynamic and atmosphere on the sets of Ajnabi really caused quite the stir in the early 2000s, as rumors were through the roof of the animosity and tension between Kareena Kapoor and Vipasha Basu. In a very <laughs> candid interview from the first season of Coffee with Karan, Vipasha Basu clearly described what she observed regarding Kareena Kapoor's behavior towards her on set. It was only the second schedule that i realized that um she does not like me she stopped talking to me so i it doesn't make my life difficult you know because yeah. if i know that somebody's very clean with their thoughts that you know that i don't like you and i'm not going to talk to you it's actually better for me yeah. because i hate hypocrites i'd rather you know have a person who's very straight in front of me saying listen something's not gelling with us we'll not talk To complete a film when there is a clear understanding of your co-actor hating your guts is professionalism at its peak honestly. I wonder how one Pretty worked common, through actually. such differences and how a director or producer managed such tempers and egos during the entire making of the film. Amir Khan A cult film today but a box office disaster of the 90s was Andaaz Apna Apna a film that had its fair share of problems on set as the co-actor Salman Khan and Amir Khan did not have the best working relationship as Amir presumably would be on time and prepared with his lines whereas Salman Khan would arrive on set late and not remember his lines when Amir was asked about his working relationship with Salman on the project he said if you are asking me about my memory of working with Salman it was very bad he used to come late and would never remember his dialogues after the film i was like i can never work with him again this is something that the two actors can reflect and joke about today but it's quite shocking that the experience was so bad for amir to conclude that he would never work with salman like again it doesn't surprise me with amir i actor ever. i feel you amir khan 7 o'clock be 7 o'clock ready with make up straight right on amir i uh... 1:32 per aram se coffee shop pe pe Why is his voice like that? Then I come and I start to cry my work which is not good I am not proud of it. it. Krish The most contentious turn of events in recent times regarding a Hindi film set has to be on what transpired during the making of Mani Karnika. A Telugu director Krish roped in to direct production and Kangana especially not being satisfied with the Krish. final cut of the film the director being chucked out of the project Sonu Sood opting out of the role he was originally portraying Kangana taking the reins of directing the film and till today there being huge contention on whose vision we finally saw on the big screen uh, June mein she praised everything yeah. and uh, uh, and once the just before the entire film and when she wants to take a credit no jo aapne kiya wo acha nahi hai me i i made it better which is she she made it i i can say no she reduced the value of the film whenever krish is asked about his experience working on the film you can still see the heartbreak and pain he underwent so early on in the he channel stepped away from what was that essentially trailer. his baby Shahid Kapoor A guilty pleasure of mine from the mid 2000s is the Shahid Kapoor Kareena Kapoor and Fardeen Khan star of Fida a movie that I still revisit less for the plot and more for the music The rumor mills during the shooting of this film would make you believe that the actors especially the two male stars barely got along with one another Fardeen while in a print interview had stated that Shahid has an attitude problem and that Fida in general was a sticky subject Shahid clarified on the first season of Coffee with Karan that he did not feel there was any animosity in the dynamic whatever it was uh, it was uh, from his side okay. i have no issues with him okay. um, so you feel there was something from his side 
I'm sure there was. He's spoken about it in quite a few All places. Right. So okay. I'm sure there was something. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I had no issues working with him. It was a professional relationship. I went on my sets. I did my job. I came back home. I went to sleep. Went on my sets again the next day. If he felt uh, that that I was rude to him, uh, then I really don't know where that where that came from. Do you also notice that all of these candid confessions all arise from the first season of the talk show? <laughs> oh, the days when celebrities could be brutally honest. Radhika Apte. Radhika Apte has featured in four Telugu films, the franchise of Rakt Charitra, and two films opposite Balaya. We have spoken about Radhika's experience working in the Telugu film industry not being so pleasant, mm. and while this is exclusive to her personal experience and not entirely reflective of an industry, it was shocking to listen to when Radhika spoke. about an actor who holds great power in the Telugu film industry and her experience of being tickled by the man while having no personal rapport or connection with him prior to the said horrifying event I don't even know him I start tickling my feet What what and, yeah and he was a big actor and I was told that he is powerful but the natural that the who I am I got up and I snapped at him I just said looked at him I said don't ever ever do that to me and i was so angry and i said ever ever like i'm for like i'm for ever yeah. and he looked at me and he said he he, he oh. didn't expect that but he never touched me after that these are horrid experiences that can really burn professional bridges girl, for Radica. actors mahesh bhat Quite the shocking revelation for me was that Mahesh Bhatt and Amir Khan had a strenuous working relationship. Having worked in Gulam and the notion of Amir Khan wanting every department to be perfect in his films, presumably over exceeding his portfolio by butting into parameters that should not concern him, this trait particularly perturbed producer Mahesh Bhatt. वो इतना pleasant experience नहीं था हमारे लिए क्योंकि मैं जैसे मैंने कहा कि जब आदमी अपनी महानता से बहुत अपनी ग्रेटनेस का बोझ उठाता है तो वो बोझ वो नहीं उठाता बाकी उठाते हैं लोग आई वंडर हाउ द मेकर्स माइट नॉट रियलाइज आमिर अटेंशन टू डिटेल प्रोबेबली बेनिफिटेड दर प्रोजेक्ट वर्स इज कॉजिंग दैम टू फेल रणबीर कपूर If you asked anyone personally of what is certain about collaborations never happening one would say that Ranbir and Sanjay Leela Bansali are two worlds that would never collide again this is because while Ranbir considers Sanjay Leela Bansali to be his mentor he also references the grilling working conditions he experienced with him I I come from a sheltered background I've never been like abused or shouted at hmm. and yep, he was abusing me he was hitting me he was like making me clean hitting the floors you? and hmm. uh, So I think that experience really so you know, grounded you in my mind. This relationship presumably has been mended as Ranbir is starring in Bansali's upcoming project Love and War. It was quite shocking to hear when Ranbir described some of the experiences he had while working as an actor on his set. The curious case of Padmavat. Speaking <laughs> about the sets of Sanjay Leela Bansali, no one will ever know what exactly transpired among the cast of this film. How Shahid Kapoor felt shortchanged by the dynamic, a working relationship that was already set with Bansali having worked with Ranveer and Deepika on two films previously. But of the innumerable interviews you see of Shahid whenever he does reflect on Padmavat, there is always a void within him, either on what transpired during the making of the film or what was essentially his screen time on the final edit. I'm sure everybody felt a bit threatened by each other at some level. It's natural. I wouldn't say that it was a smooth ride and you know we were all throwing love at each other um but looking back like i feel it's it's an amazing film in my filmography and i feel like it's great that i did it and yeah it's all good irrespective what's crystal clear is that everything was definitely not hunky dory on the sets of padmavat and that was a video guys write down in the comments below whether you have some video ideas for our channel please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle yeah 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 it's a uh, it's one of those it's not an uncommon thing what just like in any workplace <laughs> it's just in this workplace sometimes it's the person you have to have chemistry with right which makes it a little more difficult yeah you have to have chemistry with them and then you also have to do press junkets and you have to promote and you have to talk about the experience publicly forever yeah yeah very very different than just a bad work environment where the only people who are going to hear about it are the people at the office and the people at home in your inner circle versus the entire country yeah but you don't And I know a lot of these interviews were a long time ago. You don't hear people talking like it was an awful experience working. With him. <laughs> you like they'll be the more only, like they'll be more like Shahid now. He's like, yeah. oh, it was a. Uh, the the only you... time the only time you do is because that I think people probably want. I know I would. I 
I think you want to leave the atmosphere open to genuine gripes. Yeah. Predation. Yeah. Sexual assault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the things that need to be brought out into the open. The fact that you didn't get along with somebody, you know, it's like it's it's notorious that Vin Diesel and 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 the Dwayne Rock. Johnson, yeah. yeah, Dwayne Johnson, just he, he just cannot dis, he just despises the lack of work ethic. Mm -hmm. um, but he's not going to go around talking about it, and it's it they're human beings. Yep. People and people aren't going to get along with each other all the time. Yeah. Um, it is cool to see that a lot of them have kind of buried the hatchet. Yeah. Uh, from, from, I, I don't think Sonny should be hitting people on set. If yeah, that's, no. That's, note, that's, note to aspiring directors. Yeah, don't hit hitting me. the talent is not an option. <laughs> yeah. It's not how you work no. in this industry. Nor yeah. should you berate them verbally. No. No. Um, and there's many stories of that. Not only directors, actors. <laughs> Christian and, Bale has but, a famous video. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he does. Of being very rude. So, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> But at the same time, you have to give space to folks because movie sets are an incredibly stressful oh, atmosphere. Yeah. And there's going to be meltdowns. Yep. You're going to see arguments happen between crew members. You're going to see the director and cinematographer go at it. There's uh, Actors are going to lose their minds because they've been doing the take over and over again and they can't stand it. Costuming and makeup are going to get pissed off. It's just a high stress atmosphere a lot of the time. Yep. And and I think it's really important to know a lot of that is where people you're spending so much time together, you're going to reveal some of your ugly side and that's one of the reasons why people will work or not work with you. They need to know that you can be trusted yep. with that stuff. Not just with industry secrets, but with their personal stuff that if I'm on set and I have a bad day, you're not going to go talk to the press about what an awful person I am. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, but yeah, hitting out of the question. <laughs> <laughs> I do find it funny that a lot of these people talk, and that's, that's a good way for people to not like you is not showing up on time. That's a big one. Cause well, here one, in, here in Hollywood, you won't work. No, you won't work at all. Unless obviously you're, Tom Cruise and you're the boss, I guess. But he's yeah. not. But he's notoriously late. No. Uh, but that's how you can get away with it, I guess. Um, but, like, they talk about a lot of people not – because you're on set waiting all the time. And so if you have to wait even longer because somebody's not on set when they should have been on set. Well, and so, like, the amount of times they talked about that being an issue and then the biggest star in the world that everybody loves is notoriously – Well, especially when you've got people – Late all the time. Yeah, when you've got actors that – a lot of actors, and I'm not just talking name actors, actors in general, they'll be involved with a project, but they have other things that they're doing. They have other auditions. They have other jobs. They have other – I'm in the middle of a play right now, and there's days where cast members can't be there because they've booked something or they have an audition. And so you've got to stick to schedule. And for example, if for some reason your call time is 11 a.m. and you're supposed to wrap at 5 and you have a 6.30 thing you've got to get to and the other talent shows up 90 minutes late and now the whole day's screwed and now your evening thing is screwed because of them, yeah. that's why you have to be on time in yeah. the industry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm always an on-time person. So. Yeah, me too. Uh, you know who's gotten really, really good at that? Indrani. Yeah. She was notoriously, you know, do the 10, but because she knows how much it means to me to be on time to stuff, mm -hmm. she's really gone out of her way. She v is rarely ever late to anything. Nice. Yeah. But that's because she's usually with you. Yeah. But I think, I think <laughs> even if she was doing it on her own, she's so accustomed. She's just such a good person. <laughs> she knows that being on time really matters in all places right now for most people. So she does, she does her utmost to, to be there. That's a just... That's a testament to how great a person my beautiful lady is. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, whatever happened on the set of Padmavat, we'll never know. We will never know. Well, Sanjay Lita Bansali was probably hitting people, though. I'm sure that was it. <laughs> That's probably what was happening. <laughs> Don't hit people. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. Josh!